Hey you guys, so it's your girl April and today's wig tutorial is a voiceover. This is from my peoples at my first wig. We got a tea part you guys, a tea part. And it also comes with an elastic band that's always in the right spot. So make sure you check them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this band and as you guys see, I'm definitely gonna wanna go ahead and just kind of clean up that area where the wig was or the makeup was at. I did specifically wear the band for those purposes. I'm not putting too much makeup, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up. And while I'm cleaning that, I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes from my first wig. So check it out. It was just a misunderstanding. Alright guys, so let's do this tea part wig by my first wig. So I'm going to use some of my threading snip scissors. I have been using these for a couple of months now thanks to my mommy who purchased them and brought them with her when she was visiting. And I find these to be so much more easier than using my regular small curved scissors, but I do go back time and time to use them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. You guys already know the deal. Let me tell you about this tea part from my first wigs. So I have a schedule that I plan for myself on a daily basis. I use this book and it's my to-do list. And on my to-do list was to pre-pluck the hairline of this particular unit along with another one. Well, girl, I forgot, okay? And so I just put the wig on without even plucking it. I didn't even have to do anything, which saved me time because like I said, I had a to-do list. So I definitely checked it off because I didn't have to do anything. So I think it's really good for especially those who don't know how to pre-plug 
or just don't have the time, just don't want to. Either way, it's a great wig. You don't have to do much to it, but just put the wig on. Girl, uh, yeah, I didn't have to do a thing. I didn't even bleach the unit. I didn't even wash it. I just took it out the box, put it on a mannequin, and now I'm putting it on me. So that's the number one thing that I do like a lot about my first wig. Now, as for this bedhead hairspray, um, every time I try to use it, it's so hard to remove the cap. I'm not sure what's going on, but girl, if y'all have that same problem, let me know. And I'm just going to use a little bit in the wig hairline. I'm not going to fully hairspray it down because you definitely don't need it with this particular unit. So I'm just putting it in little spurts. And of course, I'm gonna take my blow dryer and blow dry it on a cool to medium heat. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to repeat that on the opposite side, you guys. And once again, go ahead and blow dry that bad boy. If you don't have a blow dryer, you can just use like a silk tie or even an elastic band will work. And then now I'm gonna take my comb and I'm just going to pull some of the hairs back because for a wig from my first wigs, you really don't need any type of baby hairs or sideburns, but girl, I need sideburns, okay? I need sideburns, I have a long head, so sideburns does help me, okay? The hairline is perfect. You don't need it. The lace is so meltable, you can't see it. Now this wig, I'm gonna be honest and say, it fit a little weird. It didn't fit properly. Of course, you know I gotta show my girl Panty Pancake. That's my baby right here. She came through to say hi. She ain't come through, she always with me. She don't leave me alone. It's my sweetheart though. So like I was saying, the wig, it didn't fit, like the sides was a little bit too small. I'm not really sure what that was about, but it still fit, but it didn't give me much leverage, which was okay. So I didn't side, um, I didn't hairspray the edges down because, you know, I'm trying to, with God's will, grow my edges back. I just took the mousse right here and just brushed them. And with the front hairline on any wig, so I did pluck that part because it was a little bulky right there. But you know, I plucked that on camera and that was it. That was all I did to this wig. That was the only plucking I had to do. I take my mousse and my toothbrush and I brush the hair in a certain direction, not like straight, straight back, but kind of give it like, kind of like a slant kind of brush. So that way it looks a lot more natural in the hairline, opposed to you just kind of like brushing it blunt straight. I kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a curvage kind of like when you want to brush the hairline, try to make it like a little curvage. So that way it doesn't look so blunt. And this is where I was talking about the sides was a little bit too small. And I did, it took me a minute to get the wig positioned the way I wanted it because the sides were so small, it was a little bit too small. And I didn't want to pull the hairline down any further because I really don't want the hairline to be on my forehead. So I just worked around this right here. And this is what I was talking about when I brushed the hairline. You see how I'm doing it like in the curvage? Well, you'll see, but you see, you know what I'm saying, you see. So this is the elastic band that I've been sewn together and it just allows my baby hairs and my sideburn hairs to hold in place while I style the hair. I always use the mousse from the Dollar Tree because it doesn't get all hard and crunchy. That's the way I like it, non-hard and non-crunchy. And even though it's a tea part, you know, it's limited space, limited parting, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm still going to kind of like try to put like a semi side part, you know what I mean? But you can always like kind of like shift, the word shift, the wig to like the right or the left. So that way you can have more parting on the sides if you prefer. And now I'm going to use the Wig Tamer by My First Wigs. This is great, it's like a wax stick and it'll help your hair lay flat when you're hot combing it or pressing it, as you see I'm doing now. And the parting is decent for it to be a tea part. 16 inches, silky straight, you know. And 
just be careful when you're doing a hot comb because girl, they get hot. And actually the elastic band helps a lot because I ain't got to burn my hairline. So it definitely comes in handy. So you might wanna put one on. And I did use the wax stick on the edges as well. Now I'm gonna take that Dollar Tree mousse and I'm just going to evenly distribute it through the hair so that way it allows the hair to curl easier along with allowing no flyaways, but definitely to allow the hair to curl easier. And I do believe this barrel is like a one and a half inch and I just curl it and then I took some pins to hold it in place while it cools so that way the curls can stay. And if you don't have pins, you could use like a flexi rod once you remove the heat from it, but either way, you're definitely going to need to pin it so that way your curls will hold. But if you don't want them to hold and you want them to drop, girl, then go for it. For the finishing touches, I did wait about 10 minutes after I finished curling the hair prior to removing these clips. And I normally like to use my fingers to curl, to like comb the curls out as you see. It just comes out a lot better to me when I use my hands to like comb through the hair. And definitely depending on what type of hair it is. But these curls came out so pretty. The hairline is bomb. You will see how it's going to look after I remove this band and I do take my comb or my brush and I kind of like unstick them because I don't want them to stick. Now for that line of demarcation where my makeup was removed, I'm just gonna go ahead and touch it up so it looks much better. And touch up my face, girl. And this is the final look. You can definitely check out my first wigs. You know those are my people. I love them to death. I will leave all of their information down below for you guys. They have great beginner wigs. And you ain't even got to be a beginner, girl. You could be, you know, expertise at it. Either way, their wigs are less work. So let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Go, go, go. Go.